Hey everybody. Hello everyone. Welcome to Cooking with Mo and Deb. <laughs> Deb and Mo. Hey y'all, um, we're going to make something good tonight for supper. We always make good stuff for supper, don't you think? Yes, I yeah. say that every time. We might it's have like, had one or two for Okay, when, when these days I'm going to come on here and go, Y'all, we're going to make some gross stuff for supper. We're going to make a yucky supper. No, no, no. Why would we do that, right? We wouldn't. But no, seriously, tonight, Deb, I found a recipe for copycat, copycat vegetable soup from the Applewood Farmhouse. Is that the place in Gatlinburg? In Pigeon Forge. In Pigeon Forge, okay. So, um, they have the best vegetable soup. And so, I've when I go, okay. I usually get, I'm, I'm like, give me a huge bowl of vegetable soup and cornbread. That's what I want. Sounds good. I mean, everybody else will be eating catfish and fried chicken. And I'm like, give me that vegetable soup. They give you a little cup about this size and oh, for an appetizer. And so, the first time I had it, I was, I fell in love. See, I've never been there except for breakfast. Don't they what? have great breakfast, too? I think they it's have the same place. really good food. So, but they have those apple fritters, oh, you yeah, know. Yeah, that's, yeah. So they serve the apple fritters. But anyway, y'all, we're, we're going to get on into this so, recipe. another thing that's pretty neat about this is we have, my son is doing Daniel, Fa Daniel Fast, and that oh, is. The, yeah, the Daniel, it's like a diet. Yes, okay. yes. So only, pretty much all you eat is vegetables. Oh. And so, we have no uh, from beef. what I'm looking at, mm -hmm. this would be something that he could eat. He eat. sure could. So, and it is so good. good. So if this copycat recipe actually tastes like that vegetable soup, I'm going to love it. Because, okay, right. you know, we all have a vegetable soup recipe, right? But. You know, mine, sometimes it turns out good, and sometimes it's okay, and sometimes it's really good, and then other times it's not that good. <laughs> so, Daryl's like, oh, can you not do the same thing every time? I'm like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and just add into this pot here all of our veggies, and they are all vegetable soup. We're not adding any beef or any stock or anything. I think we've made a vegetable beef soup. We have. Okay. We definitely okay. have. We made a vegetable beef. Okay, let's start out there by dumping that can of crushed tomatoes. This crushed is a 16 tomatoes. ounce can of crushed tomatoes and we're just pouring it in our pot. And then um, it says one soup can of water. I don't know what that means, but we've got water, so we'll put that in at the end. One large onion, which we have chopped. One carrot, thinly sliced. I like carrots, so I put two. That's some extra. I got some extra. I bet this is something you could do that with just the all your vegetables. Yes. More or less. It calls like. for four stalks of celery chopped. And so I used four stalks of celery. And that's a lot of celery, I thought. But celery. then I thought, you know what? I'm not going to change it because that may be what sets it apart. That's true. Okay. <clears throat> four to five chopped potatoes. <coughs> okay, now here's the cans of stuff, y'all. One eight ounce can tomato sauce. Oh, tomato sauce. Yep, tomato sauce. One eight ounce can of green peas. And they are not drained. No, we didn't drain them. We, I don't know if we should or not, but we're this not. Is, the recipe doesn't say to, so. So we're not. One eight ounce can of whole kernel corn. Oh. <laughs> she tricked me. Corn's first. She picked up the green beans. <laughs> All right. One eight ounce can of green beans. Green beans. All right. Four cups of water. So there was water in the beginning and there's yeah, water I don't know here. what that's about. So we'll see. So there's four cups of water. One half teaspoon of Lowry's seasoned salt. Half a teaspoon, Debbie. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and then one half stick of butter or margarine. And that is all the ingredients. Yes. And I'm going to take my old spoon that I've had for a hundred years. <laughs> it's all stained up because I stir tea with it. But I'm going to just stir it up here. It looks like that camera. Nice looking vegetables. Here. Oh my word! It definitely does. So. Yeah, there you go. That's good. And that butter's gonna melt in there, and it's gonna be so good, y'all. So how long do we cook it? Does 
Just well, tilling your potatoes. Don't get till your potatoes are good and tender uh, okay. and the carrots, because yeah. you know you got those carrot chunks in there. Oh yeah, you're right. That looks really good. It doesn't does. It? All right. So you notice I didn't put any salt or pepper in it. Yeah, I was wondering about so that. So I'm thinking once it gets towards the end and it's getting done, we'll taste it and then we'll do it to taste. Okay. Well, it sounds really good. We gotta let it cook now. Now we gotta let it cook and then we're gonna make us some cornbread and then we'll come back and let y'all taste it. I mean, oh. <laughs> watch us taste, taste it. it. <laughs> All right, see you soon. <laughs> yum, yum, it's dinner time. Our soup is ready. Our copycat apple barn, apple wood farmhouse, whatever. Vegetable soup. Get up close. Let me show y'all this yummy goodness. Boy, that does look good. It smells it good too. so good and it smells so good. Now you guys, we tasted it a minute ago and we, we put two teaspoons of salt and one teaspoon of pepper in it. And <clears throat> we think it's just right. But then when you put it in your own bowl, you can salt it and pepper it till your little heart's content. Yes, so, exactly. Um, it's gonna be too hot to taste it. Yes, it is, it probably will be. It's very hot, but we want y'all to see how wonderful. We made cornbread to go with it too. Yeah, show them our cornbread dip. So cornbread and vegetable soup that is so yummy. Looks great, y'all. And y'all, it was try. easy, and it was pretty quick. You know, the hardest thing is getting those carrots um, to be tender, because you don't want them to be crunchy. But there you go. So make you some vegetable soup. You'll enjoy it. So, See ya. Bye, y'all.